So we are going to be using a Compact Logix 1769 L16ER B1BB, and it has four analog modules on it. I went ahead and set this up with all, just in case some questions came up. So we have a 0 to 10 volt input module, a 0 to 10 volt output module, a 4 to 20 input module, and a 4 to 20 output module. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a program with all that in there. So I am going to select our 1769 L16ER B1 or BB1B, and I'm just going to call this our MA stream. And then the most important thing on these L16s is you got to make sure that you put your expansion IO modules, and that's the number of modules we have over here to the right. And that is going to be four modules. Because so, right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to configure these expansion modules. So right here, the expansion I/O, and I have four modules. I'm going to add all of those. So new module. And one thing I do love is the search feature up here because there's you know a gazillion modules you could do. And right at the bottom, of the 1734 modules, it tells you what they are. So this is 1734 IE2V. And so I'm just going to type IE2V, and it's going to be the only one there. We see that's a two-channel analog voltage input, and I'm just going to call that voltage input. And then my next module is an OE2V, so we'll put an OE2V. That's going to be our voltage output. And then the next one is going to be the IE2C. And this is a, well, let me just put it in so you can see exactly what it is. IE2C. And okay, talking about heart. So there is actually a heart version of this module. And that would be really neat. Um, maybe I will play with heart one day. But, you know, it's just one of the, you know, especially when it comes to custom hardware, it, you know, we have a very limited budget for that. Usually most of the stuff is stuff we're picking up on jobs as they run through making videos. But all right, we're going to use this IE2C that's not the heart. And this is the one main one we're going to work with though. This is our going to be our current input. And that means our 4 to 20 milliamp input. And then our final module is going to be an OE2C. So OE2C. And that's our current output. And that's it. just to start with, we're going to download this program right here. Hey, uh, yeah, this is Studio 5000. And I'm using version 32 of it. This is what you use to con um, configure the control logics and compact logics PLCs. Okay, now the next thing we got to do is figure out where is this analog input. So I added them in these expansion modules here. And if you notice that there is a number in front of these expansions. So our embedded is one. And that means that's local colon one. So our first module is going to be two. Our second module is going to be three. And our fourth module is going to be four. So we need to go to local four. input and we are looking at this channel data right here see all right i've got it at one milliamp right now and we're seeing a crazy value here 816 but this is a 4 to 20 milliamp signal so let's bring it up to four whoops went too far and at four milliamps it's showing right at 3270 and if we go up to 20 milliamps then we are showing 16378. And so these are the rough values of this. So we're at 20 milliamps now, and yeah, we're seeing 16, what, 16378. And that doesn't, you know, I see this all the time. One, I will see people that will put those values in. They'll use the raw values and they'll figure out, well, I'm, I need to kick a pump on at like 12,000 raw value. Well, no, we don't need to do that. We need to figure out some scale and, you know, we need to do some math. And yeah, thanks, John. This is a slick little simulator. I probably ought to put a link to this while we're here. Let me just pop that link in. 
but we need to do some math here. We've got to, you know, we can't, we can't really guess. And even then, what is this 16,000 number here is the next thing that we need to figure out. And Rockwell has done so much of a better job. Let's see, hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, Jason, yes, you are correct. Uh, the first one, and we can look at that right here. The first module is a voltage input. Uh, the second module is a voltage output. And then we have the current input that we're working with right now and a current output for a 4 to 20 out. But used to, it was written in many of the PLCs. This is a knock and Rockwell. In many of them, it is a guessing match to figure out what these values are. But if we double click on this module here, it's gonna bring up the module properties. And then right here, we have the configuration tab. And if we look at it, here it is. Our low engineering is 3277, and our high engineering is 16383. Now, this is one of those that we need to do a little math on. <laughs> I know a lot of times when I start saying math, I get glazed over looks. But really, if we walk through this slowly, then I think we can do it. And hopefully I have enough of what we need down here to walk through this math. Because what we're going to use is what they call Y equals MX plus B. And when I say that, everybody's heard of it. And everybody kind of remembers it. But then it's like, all right, I really don't know what it is. So if we look, here's... Here it is, y equals mx plus b. And yeah, I'm not even gonna put this in the present mode. We're just gonna do this like this. I'll put a link to the 4 to 20 milliamp lesson series in the description. Till next time.